Well, hello everyone. We have right here of talking about parents say right here. What do parents say to their children right here whenever it comes to filling out an application and whenever it comes to taking care of responsibility and also asking the questions right here. But a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we do think about that in a lot of ways, it's like uh, you're 102 that uh, whenever it comes to, uh, yeah, you know, caution and warning signs and other things, uh, that uh, you'll be like, yeah, you know, talk about filling out applications right here, but talk about for promises right here. So if you see right here that uh, I, you know, have right here uh, these warnings right here and the uh, 102, the yeah, if you're going to be looking at this like it's an actual application right here, then, uh, you know, what do you think, uh, you know, why do you think anybody uh, would want to leave an application blank for any reason at all? And uh, like everybody say, yeah, if the, so this right here, was supposed to be an example right here of an application and at your 102 that, that you know, usually you would see a portion of the application where it's going to ask for the first and last name and the address and further details about anything about you know, like yeah typical readings and all that but uh still it's like so it's like uh you know your mom and dad might even you know tell you that uh that whenever you're going to be filling out an application for sure that, that not only are you really, I'm like, yeah, you know, like any discussions that you do have about important possibilities and anything else that you're trying to work out and arrange, right? And you think it's toward it, yeah, that, uh, you do you think it's better to go ahead and write down the details rather than just be talking about it all the time? And everybody might say that, uh, you know, do you consider that to be a mistake or you just consider that to be is toward it, yeah, well, you know, most of the time that, um, any conversations that you have with anybody that uh, you're warned toward it, uh, that, yeah, most of the time that uh, that you talk about them. You know, you don't really write them down or nothing like that, but you talk about them. But a lot of times it's like, uh, you know, yeah, whenever we do talk about stuff and let's just say that, you know, yeah, on an application. And like everybody else might even say that uh, that it happens a lot of times, actually, that, that the information that's recorded on an application or on a document, most of the time it's provided, you know, especially whenever you're trying to take care of something important and uh, maybe that, like everybody might say, that uh, when uh, we do talk about an application, right, that uh, you're thinking is toward, okay, yeah, that uh, whenever you do fill out an application, by the way, that, that that's another way of how you want to cause this to where you'll know, get the job done like a source of responsibility, right? But really, that, that why do you think that you would want to leave a certain part of the application blank just because maybe if it doesn't apply to you or like everybody else would say that uh, that uh, you would mainly do that just because of the fact that um, that yeah that that you know, you're not really I'm like yeah you didn't check that box right there because that does not apply to you or that you know, you don't want to bother with it or you know, anything else like that. But really, that. Uh, that when we do talk about applications a lot of times, that's usually what you would usually hear whenever you're going to be applying for a job. So it's like, yeah, so like everybody might say that, uh, you know, how do you usually handle that? that what does mommy and daddy usually say whenever it comes to taking care of your of mistakes? And uh, like everybody might say that, uh, that, yeah, mistakes. Most of the time, most mistakes do happen uh, whenever that, I'm like, yeah, like everybody might say if you're, jumping too far ahead or something like that if you're just i'm like yeah like everybody say if you're multitasking or something like that but really that uh you know what is the best way to be able to handle any mistakes that do happen and let's just say that uh you know yeah and most of the time that uh you know, yeah you're able to talk to somebody over the phone about something but uh you're always worried toward it yeah anything that you're gonna be looking at for sure and people might want to know too that um that's usually the case, right? That, uh, you know, anything that you're going to be working on that uh, you might think is toward it. Really, what does it usually mean uh, whenever you do find something wrong, you know, on anything that you're going to be working on, right? And people might even want to know, too, that, uh, you know, I can go ahead and turn this sideways right here, but still. So if you're going to be looking at any photographs or anything, anything else that you're going to be working on, for sure, right? And you want to know, too, that... Uh, that, yeah, what does it usually mean if you do find something wrong with uh, something that you're working on? And uh, everybody might say, if that really right there, if that just basically means it's, it's supposed to give you any source of caution or warning sign on anything, uh, you know, 
so far as reviewing any applications and maybe reviewing something. And like everybody might say that, uh, you know, if you want to look, look at it like mommy and daddy uh, looking at your paper just to make sure that everything looks good and all that. But still, so really that um, another thing that I want to talk about right here, talk about for the real long story right here. So everybody might say that, yeah, really, what exactly does that mean? Talking about the really, the really long story right here. And uh, I just really think in a lot of ways, too, that... Um, I'm like, don't we all have long stories? You know, don't we all have long stories? But like everybody might say that, uh, you know, that the story that I'm talking about is that, uh, you know, really, that uh, does it really take a, a doctor or a therapist really to explain the details about what was really going on? And um, so everybody might say that, yeah, that, uh, you know, how do you really explain to anybody about that application. So like, let's just say if you're filling out any sort of application, and maybe if you leave, if you do leave a couple of areas on an application blank for any reason at all, I'm like, what, really, what does that really explain to anybody? Uh, but still, that uh, when we're talking about, uh, you know, the really long story right here, so like everybody might say that, uh, that yeah, it all kind of started out with uh, that whenever you did, uh, whenever you won, uh, you know, whenever you purchased a tickets to go to, the, the game, uh, you know, maybe the Friday's game or something like that. So, like, everybody might say it kind of all started just like that. But um, but still, it's like, you know, really, uh, you know, most parents might even say that, you know, besides, a, yeah, a paycheck being your, you know, your identity and all that. I'm like, yeah, it's about, uh, you know, another way of uh, how you want to call is like uh, talking about for paycheck right here. It's also knowing about the, the, the service that you provide also, right? But still... What about promises right here? The promises that you do keep, and let's just say that if you do work for a company, that that really that uh, you know, how often is the manager going to ask you to where to please uh, provide detailed information about the promises? Like what promises can you really make to our business, knowing that if you do get the job, you know what promises are you able to show our clients, and knowing about you know if there's any time where you do make a mistake. While you're you know, while you're working that uh, you know, how do you better how do you, you know, how do you handle that when if you, if you do if there is a mistake made and um, and most everybody might even say that um, that yeah that uh, if they if there is a mistake that does happen then how often are you going to maybe say this to where are you going to be held a yeah are you going to show accountability for anything that goes wrong and a lot of times it seems like that that's really <laughs> in case of anybody were to ask me that. Uh, you know, any interviews that you do have, by the way, that, that it's not too often that that question is going to be asked, by the way. If you're going to be having a meeting with anybody, that are you willing to show any accountability for any mistakes that happen during the work process? And are you going to respond to that saying, yeah, okay, or something like that? <laughs> and everybody might say that, um, that um, uh, well, really, that uh, I don't think maybe not that does not really apply to everybody. But it sure seems that way that you you look at the application right here and want to know too that certain areas that you left blank right here. But really, that, that whenever you do talk to mom and dad about something, you know, in particular, and a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, that, that the first thing that you're going to say is that, you know, well, I don't know or something like, uh, you know, I don't really know what to say about that or something like that. So it's like, uh, yeah, keeping them calm and all that, but... Uh, Still, it's like a, you know, each time you think about that, and you're one oh two that uh so if this right here was supposed to be uh, an actual photograph, right? You're like, yeah, looking at mommy and daddy right here, and everybody might say that you know, really, what do you really see wrong with the, this situation right here? So like, let's just say that if you were to be having a meeting with somebody and talking to your mom and dad about something, right? And uh, you know, you're thinking this toward okay, yeah, that um. You talk to mommy and daddy about something, but still, it's like, uh, you know, what you see right here, and like everybody say, you know, you look at a still picture right there, or if you draw a picture of, like, those certain moments, and uh, you want to know, too, that really, what does it usually mean whenever you do see anything wrong with something that you're working on? And uh, everybody might say that that's just uh, 
another way of like, you know, yeah, it's like, is that supposed to be maybe a reminder or something like that? Or like everybody might say that you would know, answer a few basic questions, but uh, still. But really, what is the best uh, solution for that to where that uh, anything that you're going to be working on, right? Anything that you're going to be talking about. If you do see something wrong, you know, are you supposed to speak up about it or maybe for any reason at all that, uh, you know, yeah, you leave that part of the application blank just because it doesn't apply to you or something like that. But still, so it sure seems that way that, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you talk to uh, mommy and daddy about something, but it's like, uh, you know, yeah, you know, uh, maybe do you think that it would be best to go ahead and, and have the conversations recorded on a document so that way it's readable. So that way anybody that you're going to be talking to, right? And uh, like everybody might say that, uh, you know, they might even tell you that, uh, you know, it would be good to go ahead and and uh, form some sort of transcript uh, showing those conversations which you had uh, with anybody that you were working with, like anybody that you were talking to. And uh, that's why it seems like that, uh, you know, each time you do think about that in your 102, that did it start out with, uh, you know, getting concert tickets or get, go with, you know, getting tickets to go to the game or something like that? Or yeah, you wrote you wrote a letter to mommy and daddy right here explaining about that you went to the game, right, and all that. But still, you know, did that game? I'm like, yeah, everybody might say that, uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe an application maybe has nothing to do with how you got the tickets to go to the game or something like that. But I'm just saying that. Uh, that most of the time, that whenever we do talk about an application, by the way, that that's another way of saying is to where you would fill out that application if you're trying to apply for maybe like, a, yeah, for benefits or maybe for a job or anything else important. And um, somebody might say that, uh, that how often do you think it's a good idea to leave something blank? And let's just say that, uh, you know, the, one of the reasons why you are filling out this application is reference to somebody else. And uh, somebody might say that, yeah, well, you know, you're filling this application out for a neighbor. And let's just say that that was the case, that if it's a reference for a friend of yours or reference to somebody that uh, was asking you to uh, read uh, the details on the application because they couldn't understand it or something like that. But uh, still, it's like, uh, you know, yeah, you got right here for blank right here. And you got promise right here, and it's like, yeah, okay, right here. So talk about for the real long story right here, but uh, everybody might say that, you know, talk about for wrong right here. And uh, so, yeah, almost anything that you're going to be working on, it seems like that, uh, you know, you're warranted to where that, uh, that you know, you look at it really closely, and uh, you might think as to where you don't really see anything wrong with uh you know yeah you know you don't really see anything wrong but if you do see anything wrong for sure you know so really you know uh, what's the best way of how to handle it and like everybody might say that do you think that that you would use uh mommy and daddy uh right here as an example to where that you know yeah if you do see something wrong or if you notice a mistake and just knowing about them like yeah but uh you know yeah what what is your interaction you know about that and um and to me, though, the best answer for that would be is just to ask a few basic questions. And uh, everybody might say that, uh, you know, uh, yeah. So if you do see something wrong, for sure, that uh, you're going to go ahead and ask a few basic questions, right? And uh, it seems like nowadays a typical psychology would say, too, that uh, you know, that's how they're able to uh, they connect a lot of times. And that's how able... How a lot of doctors are able to connect, by the way, that it's like you know, whenever you ask a few basic questions, that uh, you know, yeah, that make it make it more comfortable for the person that you're doing the interview with to just to be able to answer a few of those questions. But uh, it's like uh, you know, you're always one oh two that uh, that you know, yeah, well, you know, uh, basic maybe wind up turning to complicated, but still, it's like uh, a lot of therapists might even say too that. Um, that, uh, you know, it all started out with an application, and for sure, that, that that's probably what it was, right? That whenever you first started the interview, by the way, that uh, they said that, you know, yeah, on the application, on the application that you put information right here on the very bottom that just talked about, you know, any problems that you want to talk about, about your case or something like that, and uh, everybody might say that, uh, you know, yeah, that, um, you know, it, you would, yeah, you would fill out the information right here, 
But, you know, if, the, if this right here was supposed to be an example right here of an application, right? But uh, you're always want to know, too, that, um, that uh, really, that uh, when uh, we do talk about applications a lot of times, that, uh, you know, uh, you always want to know, too, that why is it that there are strict rules on that application whenever it comes to the filling them out? You know, then compared to, like, whenever you do fill out an application, why can't you, you look at it? Just like, uh, you know, yeah, a drawing for a prize or something like that. Like everybody else may say that it makes you really nervous filling out those applications just because that, that they say on there that, that most of those applications are going to say they do not provide false information. You know, you, uh, you, uh, you uh, yeah, and all the writing and everything, all the writing that's usually right here in the center right here to where this information right here is what we collect from you and all that. And uh, so it sure seems that way to almost every application that you do get for sure and it's like yeah, it's not the same thing as getting a ticket to go to the concert and uh, like everybody might say that um so if you do uh, win and maybe if you do audition for this event or something like that and like everybody might say that uh if you do audition or if you do sign up you know just to participate and then uh, there's going to be rules and all this other you know you anything else that's going to apply and uh, that's another reason why that, that that person felt a little bit more, un, you know, they felt, you know, uncomfortable filling out that application, you know, just because of the fact that, uh, you know, yeah, you know, you can't really explain all the details, um, you know, yeah, you can't explain all the details, you know, on that application, and like everybody might say that, uh, you know, we're talking about, you know, one or two pages right here, on an application, and uh, you're just thinking as to where, you know, yeah, that uh, one or two pages that's supposed to explain the whole story. Well, sometimes that that's not the case. Like everybody might say that uh, you would really fill out that application, by the way, most of them, most of those applications you would fill them out just to get you into the system, right? And that's usually how it goes. But uh, still, but, uh, you know, you have right here for a dignity right here. So it's like, yeah, dignity is, is another way of saying it. it's like a top of for service provided, you know, the basic needs. And I can go ahead and put right here in small writing right here and talk about the needs, you know, the service needs. Service needs and then also, uh, you know, it needs, um, So yeah, so if you are hired for the job, for sure, they'll probably even tell you too, if you are hired to uh, to be employed for that company, uh, that uh, people might say that, um, that you know, uh, whenever you do think about a job, though, that, that you're also talking about that the service needs, is that, uh, that they the company looked at your resume and also anything else, that, uh, that they're needing from you and all that, and uh, they'll probably say that um, about your identity, right? And, uh, you know, yeah, job is more than just a paycheck. It's about your identity, but then also another thing that I want to add right here, I talk about the, the needs, you know, the, the service needs right here. So, like, a lot of companies are going to set their ground rules and requirements about, you know, uh, the things that they demand from you and all that, but a lot of times, that uh, you're always 102, uh, that, uh, you know, why is it, you know, why is it that, um, you know, how come, you know, companies cannot think about, you know, toward that the things that, that, that you know, like, yeah, you know, like everybody might say that you're talent, and, um, but you're know, talking about for talent, right, and it's like the things you know, for what you do that that company needs from you and all that, but still, but you have right here, top of for promise, and you have right here for yeah, okay, right here, and warning and caution right here, and a real long story right here. So it sure seems that way that um, whenever you do think about an application, by the way, that what's one thing that uh, maybe that you're going to be talking to mommy and daddy about, and uh, like everybody might say that, uh, you know, what's another word to describe uh, an application? And uh, everybody might say that. Um, Another way to describe an application, and I can put right here, you know, if you're trying to explain to somebody about that, you know, another way if you want to call, it's a form, uh, yeah, form. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a form to get your information in the systems. And usually that that's usually what it what it means right there. It's a form. Yeah, it's an electronic form. It's a form that that's going to get you into the system. And uh, like everybody might say that uh, your words were to why do you want to spend so much time working on those applications and knowing about if they could either approve you or deny you uh, any anything on your case or any benefits or anything like that. And uh, yeah, everybody might say that. Uh, you know, that's usually what you do here is the application, but, you know, you always want to know, too, that, the, you know, yeah, well, you know, applications, you know, I'm like, yeah, they might even say that, well, applications are really, are, are not really necessary purpose, to, you know, just to take care of the case for you and all that, but still, we are talking about that uh, one or two documents here that uh, your parents could even say, too, that uh, one or two documents on that on an application that uh that are supposed to yeah that's supposed to provide the information just to get you into the system right and um but one thing that i'm just trying to understand too that uh if they're not designed to take care of your case and all that and like everybody might say that most of the time it's the interviews it's all about the client you'll get more specific information from you and also uh you know yeah so it's like uh, you know, so every time you do think about it, you know why do you think that you wouldn't want to spend a half an hour working on an application and knowing that it may or may not do you any good? Uh, just knowing about it if you get if you do get denied at your know, that application on the application, right? And uh, on any source of form that you're working on, and um, that is why it seems like that uh, you you thinking too that uh, that yeah, well, you know, uh, I guess uh, good practice makes perfect. I guess. Uh, Everybody might say that, you know, yeah, the best answer that you usually hear is that you can get some good practice with it, even though that, uh, you know, some of those uh, some of that, some of those benefits may not apply to you. And that, like, a, a lot of parents might say that whenever you think about an application, by the way, you also look at that as, as to where it's another form, you know, just to get, you know, like, yeah, you know, just so that way you can familiarize you know, be familiar with uh, what's in it, what services that they provide and anything else that you're trying to take care of, right? So, like, everybody might say that, yeah, you know, your parents, mommy and daddy can maybe even tell you, too, that, um, you know, applications are not, you know, they are not like a, a ticket to the basketball game, but if you want to prefer it that way, that uh, you might say that, uh, you know, anything that we're talking about, by the way, is actually being recorded on a on the, the the application and so if you do have the most recent uh, updated software on your com on your system there that uh you know, yeah you know, you would be able to uh do the copy and paste command and uh, most applications might say that you know, yeah it's all ma it's automatically done for you and all you have to do is just making sure that uh, yeah that uh, just make sure that you sign into your account and some of that information is already filled in for you and um so really, so every time you do think about an application, by the way, that are you, is there another way to trying to get your voice, you know, trying to get your voice in the system or something like that? And uh, everybody might say that um, another word to describe it, you know, would be is this toward the, uh, yeah, your work, um, So yeah, so almost every time, yeah, conversations, right? So any conversation that you do have um, with a uh, mommy and daddy or anybody else that uh, you know, uh, yeah, you know, any conversation that you do have, and let's just say if it's an older brother or a sister or a cousin or anybody that uh, or a doctor, any conversation that you do have with anybody, right? And you're one oh two that uh, you know, not everybody can really hear. What you're saying, unless if it's provided on this document, unless if it's provided on this application here, and uh, that's why it seems like that uh, you know every time you do think about that, and you're one oh two that um, that yeah, you know why is it like everybody might say that uh, you know do you think it's best to go ahead and write down what you discussed during that meeting, or like everybody else might say that, uh, but still. Do you think it's maybe best to go ahead and like yeah, go ahead and write it down, and so that way it's recorded. That's way that way it's in the system, right? But 
really, you know, how do you uh, how do you handle that whenever you when we talk about uh, common mistakes? And uh, a lot of parents might say that uh, that you know it's best. Is it really best to explain? Uh, you know what was going on during a time, and like everybody else might say that, uh, you know, yeah, whenever you do, you know, I'm like yeah, whenever a few mistakes are made, you know, that don't make you very professional, does it? And a lot of parents might say that, uh, you know, yeah, you talk about a paycheck, right? But what about mistakes, right? And uh, any, you know, anybody might say that, uh, that why don't we have conversations talking about mistakes right here? And like everybody might say that. Uh, you know, every time you do think about mistake, that makes you, uh, you know, that makes you feel like that, uh, you know, you're not, uh, you know, the work from what you were trained for, you're not, uh, yeah, you know, you're not um, very professional, you're not very, you know, you're not very smart, and you're not very too much an expert about, about the work that needs to be done, right? But still, everybody might say that not all mistakes, not all mistakes prove that uh, you're not professional, not all mistakes, so I'm like, yeah, so like everybody might say that uh, if you do run into that situation to where that mistakes are more likely to happen, and uh, everybody might say that, uh, you know, really, that, uh, you know, how often, you know, how often do you have conversations um, with mommy and daddy both about that, about uh, whenever mistakes that do happen, and, uh, you know, one, you know, like everybody might say that, um, that yeah, that uh, you know, you don't, you know, like yeah, you don't want to be, uh, you know, you don't want to take responsibility for any mistakes that do happen just because it makes you look to be non-professional. You know, you know, you you're not right for the job or something like that or anything else. But uh, really, what what uh, what do you think that uh, what what are the most common fixes uh, whenever it comes to uh, taking care of our mistakes, right? And uh, Parents might say that, uh, you know, for sure, ask the questions, right? And I guess a lot of parents might say that, uh, that you know, you answer a few basic questions and ask a few questions and all that. And uh, like everybody might say that, uh, that uh, that's one way of how to fix uh, a lot of problems, right? And I guess like everybody might say that um, whenever you do a review, by the way, that, that that's one way to look at it. Yeah, that's one way of how to fix a mistake, right? Is that if if uh, if there is a mistake that does take place, and like everybody might say that, uh, yeah, if you're going to have an interview with somebody for sure, they're going to say is to yeah. How often do you hear that? My mistake. You know how how often do you hear my mistake? But uh, still, everybody might say that. Well, you hear that every now and then, but not too often. You know, well, why is that the why is that the case? But um. But everybody might say that most likely that that's because that, um, and yeah, everybody, they all want to have fun. They all want to go out and, and have a good time. You know, they don't want to bother with it. They don't want to deal with, uh, with all the trouble and maybe all the hard work or anything else that, that, that needs to be redone and maybe, uh, improved or something like that. And, um, so that's why it seems like that, uh, that whenever you do think about a mistake right here, that uh, like everybody might say that you know whenever you do think about a mistake, by the way, that uh, you know yeah you know, advance. I guess uh, another word I want to go ahead and put right here. I'll talk about advancing. Uh, yeah, advancing your research right here. So I guess a lot of doctors might even say too that uh, that if you want to look at that to where if you have any clients that might say if you do make a mistake on something that you were working on for sure that uh you know you want to go ahead and just say that to where that uh you know if it's uh yeah if you go ahead and a lot of people might say that you know maybe if it's a, if it's a good idea to go ahead and admit it. i'm like you know yeah if it if you know if you if there was something wrong that uh if you were working on something and if something went wrong or something like that how often do does anybody else you know how often are they really going to take a are they going to take responsibility into any mistakes that do happen, and um, everybody might say that well, really, that uh, are they going to be, are they going to take responsibility? Are they going to be, you know, are they going to say that you know, we are going to be, you know, we we're, we're willing to to hold accountability for any mistakes that do happen, you know, or anything you know, on on any of the work that needs to be done and all that. So it's like, uh, so every time you do think about that, and you're always one oh two that uh, 
you know, is that another source of responsibility or like everybody else would even say too that uh, it's a type of work that not everybody wants to deal with. You know, they want to go out and have fun. You know, they just really uh, want to move on or something like that. But they're still. But really, you know, you know, your mom and dad might even tell you too that uh, when we talk about responsibilities right here, that what what do you learn whenever you do make a mistake? And uh, you might even say too that uh, that uh, just to be able to better advance the you know, your knowledge about correcting those mistakes for the most part is to where that you know whenever you ask questions, whenever you see something wrong, that uh, it, that's another source of communication, right? And like everybody might say, your mom and dad both might even tell you that uh, that you know, yeah, you're. You know, that's more of the person's time that you're asking for. You're asking for more of the person's time whenever you do that. But still, what are the chances that a lot of mistakes are going to be corrected? A lot of a lot of the service or services are going to be improved if you do ask questions in the course. If you do, uh, you know, like, yeah. So what we're talking about that uh, filling out an application and answering a few basic questions right here just to kind of get a, be a better understanding about something. And uh, a lot of us might say that, hey, that uh, you might even tell mommy and daddy that, uh, you know, I want to go out and have fun. You know, I would like to go to this special occasion. I don't want to take care of this other stuff. You know, I don't want to take the responsibility of doing this other stuff just because of the fact that it's boring, or like everybody might say that, you know, just because. But um, but still, that uh, whenever you do think about a mistake, though, that uh, really, what is it telling you whenever you do make a mistake, right? And everybody might say that, uh, you know, it's another way of saying this to where that, okay, just to make the long story short or something like that, but um, everybody might say that, uh, that if you do uh, make a mistake on something, that, um, you know, uh, are you going to maybe respond to that by saying this to where, okay, yeah, well, you know, sorry about that or something like that. Or are you going to maybe say that, well, I don't really know, but, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, so it's like, um, maybe three steps. Like everybody might say it's all about maybe the one or two or three steps, uh, you know, the forward where you have to go back, work backwards just to be able to go back and make corrections or something like that. But really that, uh, you know, every, every time you do think about that and you're a 102 that, uh, that, yeah, that, you know, if you do, uh, you know, have conversations with anybody talking about that and, uh, everybody might say that, uh, the type of word that you would, uh, think that you want to search for whenever it comes to talking about mistakes, right? And, uh, everybody might say that, uh, it's all about, is it advanced research or just improving your knowledge and all that, but, uh, still. But the way I think about, though, that, uh, is, uh, to where, like, everybody might say that, uh, you know, uh, whenever you do start working, by the way, it seems like that uh, everybody might say that, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it took a lot longer than you thought, you know, it was going to take you know, just to be able to make any corrections and maybe just to be able to work on a few other things. But like everybody might say that, uh, you know, one source of responsibility that you can kind of keep in mind, though, is the fact that... Um, that, yeah, that, uh, you know, you did the best you could, you know, and like a lot of uh, parents might even say that, uh, you know, anything that you're going to be working on, you know, anything that you're going to be working on is that, that you know, yeah, you know, doing the best you can, but uh, if you're going to respond to a lot of those letters by saying this to where that you are super busy and uh, you're, you know, like, yeah, just write a memo right there, but, you know, like 102, that, that anything that you're going to be busy with, but, uh, Still, it's like, uh, you want to know, too, that, um, you know, anything that you're going to be working on for sure, that, uh, you know, what's one way of how to keep a promise and knowing about the really long story right here? A lot of parents would probably say that, um, that, yeah, that, um, that knowing about, yeah, yeah, if it's trust and honesty and respect and all that, but still, that, um, people might say that, you know, you, Ashley, it seems like, you, you know, like, yeah, everybody might even say that, you know, it seems like that you've had it a lot harder than compared to everybody else, knowing that it took you three hours just to be able to look over everything and just to make a few corrections and all that compared to everybody else. Everybody else might even say that it only took them three minutes just to be able to get through the application. 
three minutes. You know, it only took them three minutes just to be able to get through the applications. And by compared to you, like everybody might say, you know, anything that you're going to be working on for sure. Three minutes, but, uh, you know, everybody might say that, um, you know, how often are, is anybody going to maybe say that, uh, that, yeah, you know, you go ahead and spend uh, three hours working on something, and for sure, do you think anybody's going to want to spend three hours working on something? And uh, most of the time, the answer is no, but like everybody might say, that if you're trying to make a few corrections, and maybe if you're just trying to study a little bit more about what all that needs to be done and all that, then maybe you would uh, spend three hours working on something. But uh, everybody might say that, yeah, you know, really, well, what does that usually mean? You know, what does that usually mean whenever something takes a lot longer than you thought it did, you know, just to be able to take care of it? And, um, but on the other hand, that, uh, it's like, um, that, yeah, you know, uh, whenever you do have conversations, by the way, that uh, everybody might say that, you know, you, you still learn something either way from those conversations, right? But like everybody might say that, uh, it's all about getting to know you best, you know? Yeah. Mommy and Daddy might even say, too, that, um, yeah, getting to know you. It's a typical psychology, right? And uh, people might even say, too, that, um, yeah, get, getting to know, you know, getting to know, um, getting to know that person very well right here. And, um, so each time you think about that, right, <laughs> and you're warned to where to, hey, that, uh, you know, uh, it took a lot longer than you thought, but at least that, uh, yeah, you, you were able to take care of it. But um, still, you know, this is a, uh, Everybody might say that this is how we met right here. You know, this is how we met. You know, we met, we did, we met at the game, but then this is, uh, this is how we met, but then, you know, you were able to explain, you know, the work that you were doing, you know, that uh, the work that you were doing, working on. And, uh, but anyway, uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and, and uh, put that in right there. And like, yeah, getting to know that person better very well right there whenever you do have conversations. And, um, so it sure seems that way that, you know, whenever you do think about that, right? <laughs> and at 102 that, uh, yeah, you go ahead and ask questions, right? But um, anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.